You know those sitcoms where absolutely everyone is an unlikable caricature and you're sitting there going, who is this even for? And unfortunately, I think that's what this show is becoming. I'm Gay Fashion. Today we'll be talking She-Hulk, Attorney at Law, Season 1, Episode 4, Is This Not Real Magic? But before we get started, make sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Spoilers ahead. I think the premise of this show is starting to wear on me. The show even hangs a lampshade over Wong coming back for a second week, saying it should provide some Twitter armor, as if Wong can't have horrible writing or plots himself. And the fourth wall breaking has overstayed its welcome. The primary plot involves Wong hiring Jen to issue a cease and desist against a stage musician who was carelessly using a sling ring as part of his act, sending bar floozies to random places. Jen issues a cease and desist that gets ignored, and the judge won't issue an injunction over the magician's act before the hearing, so she ends up having to save the day when he accidentally opens a portal to a realm of little flying demons, and after that he agrees to stop using real magic in his act. Jen's also trying to get into the dating scene, and at first creates a profile just as herself and gets barely any hits, which is absolutely ridiculous. That's not how online dating works for attractive women. They even make a joke of her getting a notification from the dating app saying no new matches. Like, sorry, nah, her inbox is gonna be full of dick pics. Once she gives in and creates a dating profile as She-Hulk, she starts getting a ton of matches, but they all suck except for one hot doctor she takes home, only to find out in the morning that he's not into her as Jen, just as She-Hulk. And it looks like we'll be getting Titania back now because Jen gets served papers herself alleging trademark infringement. Titania went behind her back and trademarked She-Hulk before Jen could, so we'll see how that goes. What did you think of this episode? Leave a comment below. You know, I know it's been 15 years since The Sopranos ended, but making a joke of spoiling some of the more shocking deaths in the show seems in poor taste. Be sure to like, subscribe, ring the bell, and share the video with your friends. Subscribe to my Patreon to get shouted out in future videos. Check out my Bandcamp for banging tunes, including all the tracks you heard in this video. Follow me on Twitter at GayestFesh, and don't forget to check out my podcast, The Rest of Both Worlds, where I go through Star Trek The Next Generation with a friend who's never seen it. Thank you to all my patrons, with a special shout out to Piftle Cakes and Renee Vorbeck. Your support is greatly appreciated. See you all in the next video.